and welcome to Tuesday's Maths Game. What you'll need today is some paper, some pens and some scissors because we are going to make some repeating pattern puzzles. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to fold my paper into four. I'm just going to show you an example with four um, puzzle pieces, but you can do as many as you like. The more puzzle pieces you do, the more of a challenge it will be. So what I've done here, I've folded my paper in four and then I'm just going to cut along. So I've got four pieces of paper. Uh, this bit is probably the most suitable for an adult to do, but perhaps the cutting the children could do. And I would say at every other point of this activity, it would be great for the children to join in as much as they can. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to make a different repeating pattern on each piece of paper. And we are going to repeat the pattern four times, okay? Now, for today, we're going to stick to the same shape on each piece of paper, just because otherwise it will give us extra clues and I want us to spot the patterns, okay? So, right, here's my first pattern. So I'm going to do pink and green. Okay, you ready? Pink. What comes next? Green. Okay, I said we're going to repeat the pattern again four times. So we've done it two times. We've gone pink, green, pink, green. That's two. So now we're going to go back to pink. And now green. I make it very obvious by changing the pen. <laughs> so pink, green, pink, green, pink, green. Now what? Pink. And the last one is green. Okay, fantastic. Right, so that is our first pattern. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut. Um, on the edge for a second. There we go. So that bit can get rid of. Right, I'm going to choose bumblebee colours now. Yellow and black. So we're going to start with yellow. And then black. What do I need now? Yellow. And then black and then yellow you're doing really well what next black okay one more time round what next it's yellow and the last one is black fabulous okay again I'm just going to cut the edge there right okay it's ladybird color time so let's start with red black okay what color do i need now red and black what's next Ooh, it's red yeah and then black one more time round what's next red and black fabulous now just as an example for you if you are finding that you're doing really well with two colours. On my last example, I'm just going to show you one with three colours. So what I suggest is that you do them like this, either all 
two colour repeating patterns or all three colours or all four colours if you want to really push yourself. Um, but let's just practice a three colour repeating pattern for a second. So we are going to use yellow because the lid's already off, dark green and we're going to use orange as well because we haven't used that one yet. So we're going to start with orange. Then we're going to do yellow, then we're going to do green. So, orange, yellow, green. And then we're gonna start it again. So what's the first color in our pattern? It's orange, isn't it? And what comes after orange? Yellow. And what comes after yellow? Green. So we've got orange, yellow, green. Orange, yellow, green. So what's next? Orange. Then yellow. And green. And the last time, orange, yellow, green. Orange, yellow, green. Orange, yellow, green. Orange. Then yellow. And the last colour, what comes after yellow? Green. Okay, right. So obviously lids on pens. And then we've got the last part of our activity before we can just go off and play with it. So what I would like you to do now is cut off one set of each colour. So in this pattern here, I'm just going to cut off the last two, pink and green. And that's all it will be if you did a two colour repeating pattern. If you did a three colour one, you'll be cutting off the last three. OK, so it'd be great if the children could help with this. I think I'm going to do for my puzzle zigzag cutting. So you could do a straight line. You could do zigzag like me or you could do anything that you wanted. So I'm sure there are lots of other ways that you could cut them out. OK, nearly there. So I'm just going to cut off those last two in my pattern. And my ladybird colour one. And all that remains is to jumble them up and see if I can find the matching ones to finish off my pattern. So there we go. I'm going to finish off the rest of these a bit later. Well, I hope you have loads of fun with that, everyone. And I'll be back tomorrow with another repeating patterns game. Bye.